Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. Let's talk some mountain weather, and it is snowing. It's been snowing most of the day up there at Aspen Snowmass, working on four, five, six inches of uh, snow up there. It's also snowing a little, uh, a little further to the east. This is Loveland. Um, hasn't been as heavy there, but expecting probably six inches of snow before all is said and done around Loveland and Barford Pass and Arapahoe Basin up towards Winter Park, probably up closer to eight inches around Eldora and Longs. We'll look at some of those numbers coming up, but let me just show you what um, my bullet points are for this uh, for this overview here today. So looking at that Colorado snow, light to moderate to today into tomorrow morning, and then that's going to shift away. It's, it's moving from north to south in Colorado, so southern Colorado will have snow overnight into tomorrow. And then we're looking at a pretty big pattern change, and, there, and this is important for a couple of different reasons, but that'll happen on or after 11.13 through probably 11.20, as it looks right now. And it's all part of a large trough, a big dip in the jet, area of low pressure, um, that's going to roll in from um, basically it's going to come north to south out of the Pacific Northwest and then kind of swing in to California and affect the interior uh, Rockies as well. Snow amounts are definitely trending down with this. They look much more impressive yesterday and the day before than they do now. Um, a lot of it has to do with um, the placement of the trough, where it actually makes contact with California, the dynamics. And also, a lot of it has to do with the, the weak atmospheric river component. It looked like we could be seeing more of a moderate to strong component, but now for California, the, it looks like some of the latest modeling is for a weak atmospheric river component. So all of those things are, are factoring in. Let me just show you what the jet's going to look like since we're talking about that. So 11.15, you can absolutely see that area of low pressure right there coddled with that jet stream off the coast of California. And this is also important because it shows you the contribution coming from the subtropical jet, which is going to be a big player, I think, by the time we get into December, January. Um, those two months that look like they could be big for the West. Um, so that's the 15th. Here's the 17th. So it's translated into the interior. Um, you're looking at good jet support, southern branch. We just are just not seeing as much forecast atmospheric river contribution for California in the interior as we were a couple of days ago. So that's going to push a lot of the numbers down. But let me just show you what this looks like right now. In for, now this is water vapor satellite, so oranges and reds are your drier air. Moisture is going to be your um, aloft, is going to be your whites and blues. And you can see we've got a couple of things. Very impressive area of low pressure. This is the pattern changer right there. There's another low over here spinning south towards Hawaii. And these are both important. So the first one, this is going to be your main driver right here. Rolling up into BC, even Alaska in the Pacific Northwest first, and then it's going to dig down into California. The other one is going to catch a ride on the southern branch of the jet and that's going to become more of a factor when it meshes when it blends with the with both jet streams blend on 14 15 16 17 and 18 as that area of low pressure and that trough swings in to the interior rockies let me show you what this looks like on our forecast radar and satellite so by the time we get to tomorrow morning snow moving south through colorado and southern colorado and then it's done then we get a little bit of a break. Now watch up to the Pacific Northwest. Really all you're seeing there is just a little bit of um, Vanguard precip out ahead of that big low. And here it comes. Um, it's hitting BC hard and then eventually it starts to drop south. It's going to take its time though. And there's a few days of high pressure for the Intermountain West before all this happens. You can see it there. It's high and dry. That low is taking its time. So by the time we get to honor after 13th, the 13th, 11, 13, there comes the low into the west coast. The main area of low pressure is still well offshore, and it's going to have to swing to the south. So it's going to take its time, um, but it should bring um, definitely some storm system snowfall to um, the Pacific Northwest and then eventually California. Let's talk about these, uh, these numbers here as far as what I'm expecting. So in the first phase, it's just leftover snow in Colorado. You know, another two or three inches, maybe more down in southern Colorado where it's going to be sliding south through the night into tomorrow. And then you can see some of the magentas up in B.C. right along the coast as that big storm begins to move on shore. Here's the second phase. And a significant decrease from what we were talking about in numbers from the last couple of days. Now we're looking at maybe a foot um, through Mammoth. 
uh, and less elsewhere. Pretty good numbers up around Whistler and Baker and Rainier and into the interior parts of BC. But once that low makes contact with California, we're just, it doesn't look like we're going to hold on to that atmospheric river component as much. Could change. Nothing set in stone yet, but that's the way it looks right now. And then eventually that low would move into the interior and snow through parts of Utah and also Colorado as time wears on. All right, guys. Well, that's the way things look right now. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.